Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today we're going to be talking about my diagnosis. This video was the most requested on the poll I put on, on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's there on screen right now. Twitter's where I go to to do polls and I go to Instagram. to do Q&A's. <laughs> My diagnosis. We're gonna go over every diagnosis I have, physical health included, and then we're gonna focus on mental health. <laughs> Shut the fuck off, I'm filming a video. So let's start with the physical health. I'm diagnosed with arthritis, POTS, and type 1 diabetes. Now for the rest of it, we've got ADHD, autism, bipolar, DPDR. Which is depersonalization and derealization. Ednos, eating disorder and otherwise specified. PTSD, which is post traumatic stress disorder. Anxiety, and insomnia. So now I'm gonna focus in on mental health. Bring it in, mental health. So, I was diagnosed with bipolar when I was 13 years old. I made a video talking about this a few years back. I got diagnosed when I was inpatient. I take medication to manage if I was bipolar. I take haloperidol, I take lithium, I take vortioxetine, which is an antidepressant, I take clonazepam, and I also take the zopiclomin. They're the psych meds that I take. I was diagnosed with DPDR when I was 20 years old. Something really, really weird happened yesterday, and I was gonna film a video about this, but I don't really want to set up my camera because I think it's too too much, right? I'm still quite afraid from all of this, and I don't really know 100% what happened. Long story short, I woke up this morning, well, it was afternoon, went to an appointment, checked my call logs, and realised that what I dreamt had actually happened. What I thought I dreamt was actually what had happened last night. I can't remember anything after about eight o'clock yesterday. Um, I had a dream. Well. Apparently I didn't have a dream, but it was a dream to me um, about these people who were following me and they transformed into animals, but they went from being human first to invisible to like a ghost shape. And I can guarantee, I can guarantee this whole thing happened because of the state of my phone screen, because I've got quick knees and because of the call logs. Like these call logs are actually on my phone and I'm going to insert a screenshot here. It was, I don't know, I don't know what happened, I don't know, I don't even remember leaving my flat, I don't remember any of it. Like, as from the perspective of it actually happening, I remember it as in me waking up this morning thinking, oh shit, that was a horrible dream, to realising that it actually happened. It's a scary situation, I don't really know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it's about. But these fucking invisible dogs were chasing me, biting me, and, and trying to bite me, and I was, I was, I just, I don't know, I don't know at all. Troubling, it's troubling to think about. It's scary, 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 scary stuff. I really don't know what happened, and I'm very afraid of it. I don't know, I'm afraid to go to sleep again, because I don't know if it's going to happen again. I don't know if I'm going to actually dream, I don't know, I'm afraid. I'm so afraid of it all. I'm really afraid. I don't know. Just I don't know how to explain it. I don't really know what happened. It just feels like it doesn't feel real. It wasn't real, but it was. And I don't know. It was such a vivid, vivid dream that I don't know. It woke me up this morning, and then when I woke up, I was like, oh, it wasn't a dream because it actually happened. Because I got the call logs and the cuts and the bruises from it. And how that affects me is it makes me feel like I'm dreaming all the time. So my memory is useless. I write everything down that I do. I was diagnosed with PTSD when I was 20. EDNOS I was diagnosed with when I was 17. EDNOS affects me where I go through phases of starving and then I go through phases of binging. So there's starving and then there's the binge eating. Currently not doing so great with insomnia I was diagnosed with at age 16. Though for me, sleep has always been an issue. Now I'm on medication for sleep, I actually sleep at night. Before I would, wouldn't sleep through the night and then I'd sleep all day. 
uh, I, I basically turned myself not to. But for me, mental health really has been my entire life growing up. But yeah, that's my that my diagnosing is. Do that as you will. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm.